Welcome back to the second half, YouTube. Hey, why do so few frogs get ahead? I don't know, why do so few frogs get ahead? They croak? Be because it's a frog eat frog world. That doesn't make any sense! It makes less sense than normal! That's, no, that's closer to a joke than they've managed to, to get in the last... Well, since I can really remember, I honestly. Know. Both of you guys laughed, so... <laughs> I yeah. didn't laugh. No, but you don't know how to, though, so... you also been silent for the I last do. half hour. Yeah, I was playing a non-card game, just to prove Knorr wrong. <laughs> oh, by the way, for people that weren't reading the chat earlier on, Knorr said that Ivy only plays uh, card games. Which, which is kind of true. Yeah. It's true. I can vouch for that. Also, I played Blood Bowl on Sunday. Yeah, he did actually. Wow. He did play oh, yeah, I remember the that. Blood Bowl in Mr. Blood Bowl is practically a card game. Wow. That's... I was going to go with the classic, that's racist. But in this case, I feel like it's, it might be overstepping. So, <laughs> worse than racism, saying Blood Bowl is a card game. <laughs> there are going to be probably going to be cards that's in the That's rude to Blood Bowlians. Yeah, there's going to be Steam cards. Yeah. Oh, speaking of cards, fucking Goat Simulator has cards. Yeah. I wanna stream oh God. Have you guys played Goat Simulator? Yeah. I'm, no, I, I, uh, I streamed it. If, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a highlight on my Twitch stream. I played with Hot Lead for like an hour and a half. Fucking incredible. <laughs> well, once you once you get once you get Sacrifice Goat, you can just fly around. Oh yeah, I got the Sacrifice Goat, and it was ridiculous. I don't think the flying is intended, but I do like the developers are basically like. If it doesn't crash the game, we won't fix it. Yeah. <laughs> so. I was um yeah watching some footage of it earlier, and the guy bounced on the trampoline, That's and right. really high, yeah, slipped off, and then fell through the floor. That's right. Scusel was actually in the stream too. So, I you know when I played wow. the second episode, I got into a unmodeled room in the developer's house. There's <laughs> one. There's one room that's on the inside that has like those checkerboard patterns like in that you use in Hammer to yeah, yeah, as yeah. like unit measures. And yeah. I turned mm -hmm. on the like the go sacrifice go special power which is to like a vacuum and it just had like twenty things rubbing up against the wall from the outside. <laughs> Classic. Oh man. Go team it sounds like a lot of fun. Go it team like, like it's funny because it's, you know, it's a physics sandbox, so that's good. But also, it has really good design. I really like games that are just like, here's a world, go explore it. Yeah. And it has a lot of shit to find. It's a pretty big world as well. Uh, it's a, I mean, it's n not huge. It's big for Tony Hawk's level. It's Yeah, it's big for Tony Hawk level. It's pretty dense. And a friend... Yeah. Hmm. Oh, like... Oh, no. We lost him. Finally, my wish came true. <gasps> you did this! Uh, and Sorry, a uh, we friend of mine, a I read on Twitter, someone described it as the best Tony Hawk game since Tony Hawk 4, which <laughs> I would agree with. Yeah. It does in a way feel like a Tony Hawk level, with like, just go around, get points, hmm. figure out the uh, Phew! the path. But I'm not, I'm not <laughs> like lying. super... Yeah, you're lying. I'm not super into like the point attack part of it, but it's fun to get combos. Definitely, yeah. It looks like a fun ass game. Did you see that video friend of the show Total Biscuit put up? He's no friend of mine. <laughs> wow. It's fucking intolerable. Don't watch it. <laughs> okay, I will I have I'll be honest, this I was particular Total Biscuit video. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> No, it's he was just really grumpy about saying, "Well, this isn't funny," as he did some really stupid shit and looked like he, and did something that I thought looked pretty fun. <laughs> Are you enjoying this yet? Well, not if you're going to talk about. Like, Are that you not thing. entertained? <laughs> okay, here's here's my problem with that. Fuck this whole biscuit now about being entertaining. <laughs> anyway, he's here tonight. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. He heard me. Oh, Eldad's face is red. I can't believe I'll get blocked by him again on Twitter. 
Oh yeah, because you swapped names, didn't you? So is are you still blocked by him? Uh, probably. Let me, let me try and favorite a tweet of his. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rabbit Monger, you you missed a lot of stuff just joining now. You missed this week's frog joke. It was a and, good one. And also, Tom's been really rude. I'm start, I'm trying to start beef. <laughs> I realize I've been trying to start beef for the last... Well, we've been doing this for a year, so... <laughs> I've been trying to start beef with other YouTubers for the last year. Yeah, I'm still blocked by Total Biscuit and Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Big fucking whoop. Oh, oh, Gilkey. Okay. Hmm. Okay, uh... We're gonna... No, he can't blitz there. Okay. Yep, hip not in case. That's uh that happens. Uh do do Let's see uh here. What do you have? Oh you have dump off. You know what? We might actually we might actually go aggressive here. Uh But I think we need to do this first. See if this guy wants to stand up. Does. That's very nice. Uh, okay, so far, just quick update from Gilkey's Evil Twin. They, he's made it to turn five. Of what? Well, the thing is, a guy Gilkey's Evil Twin's playing against just AFK'd, so his thing's timing out. Uh, but he can't abandon the game because that'll count as him getting the strike instead of the guy he's playing against. So he's just doing his turn, bashing a bunch of dudes, and then waiting for four minutes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, run. if we find out anybody does that, then they'll they'll be super double blacklisted. How do you even get in the game with you all away constantly? I think they started uh, the game. Why did I realized, do that? that was... Oh, this it. This this isn't. This, oh, this isn't, isn't Kano. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, looks like I'm going away from the computer for an hour. <laughs> oh, I can. Let's do this instead. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Dude didn't um, die. My uh, also good simile. I feel has a pretty good sense of humor. Yeah. The fact that he uses the same like simulator font. I think that's. Brilliant, actually, yeah. And when you start it up, it says press the any key. <laughs> you know what? That's a stupid joke, but I like it. Yeah, yeah. I Just... like. <laughs> I like how Goat Simulator does do lots of those uh, kind of silly jokes, but it doesn't go overboard in the same way that something like Dive Kick does. Because I think Dive Kick is just a game that's filled with really dumb references. Uh, yeah. Dive Kick is probably really funny if you're into the fighting game community. Yeah. So, so what I'm hoping right now is, well, first of all, that that wouldn't happen, but that was my own. I shouldn't have what I should have. Mm, actually, it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, but yeah, I. This vampire here is going to have to try and either secure it around somewhere else, uh, in which case he's going to have to move some thralls back. Or he's going to have to do a pass, in which case, well, he's still going to have to. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I won't guilty to do stuff and then fail it so I can steal the ball. Mm. Uh, which will happen ah. if he rolls a few ones. He's going to have yeah. to, he's going to have to do a lot of blocking here. Forever Monger just said, Goat Simulator is everything I loved about Skate 3 with 100% more goats. I think if he gets the uh, Goat Queen upgrade... You'll find it's infinity more goats. <laughs> well, are there any goats in Skate 3? I guess there must be. Hmm. Okay, here comes the vampire. Let's see where he, what he does. Okay, that's... He's not going to pass, so he's... I assume he's just going to stand still. So... Yep. Go, oh, go bloodlust over here. Minutes. That That's that's not good for Gilkey, because his nearest thrall is over here. So that means he has to dodge and then get over here or get off the pitch. Now, granted, it's not a hard dodge, but he's out of rerolls and he doesn't have any. Yep. Fell down and... Well, he KO'd himself, which is actually uh, worse, but... Um, 
Gotsum also has probably the best developer self inserts in Serious Sam 1. <laughs> I think you might be right there, actually. Isn't it just that they are inside a house uh, developing yeah, games? Yeah, but no, there, there is a house in the map that is just full of the developers and it has like a Coffee Stain Studios logo on it. Yeah, and you go upstairs and you can play Flappy Bird. No, I know you can play Flap Flappy Goat, actually. Yeah, like, uh, I, I mentioned this on stream, but the worst thing about that is the fact that it keeps track of your friends on Steam. Mm. Oh, is that it's the, Like, that's yeah. the funniest fucking thing. The, the fucking hidden mini game has a Steam leaderboard, but the actual point thing doesn't. <laughs> I think that'd be because the actual uh, main game would be way too easy to break, so the leaderboards are kind of just like... Well, the score is kind of just a politeness at that point. <laughs> okay, uh, I did something I shouldn't have done uh, a bit too early, but uh, it's bound to happen. So now I don't have a reroll, but luckily I had block right there. Um, okay, let's see if we can get this uh, going. Do. Oh, yep. Okay, so he's uh, he's signing if he wants to pass it. He probably won't because it's only thralls around. Oh, he threw it backwards. That's uh, that's actually not half bad. I didn't I didn't think of that. Oh wow, they got the key arena for the next thing I saw. Yeah. Holy shit. Pretty good actually. Sick. Sick. I'm looking it's, forward to not going it. there, but <laughs> watching <laughs> live streams. I feel like it kind of loses the intimacy of the smaller one, but whatever, the fucking... The tickets are in such high demand that they can uh, go for a bigger venue. Yeah, definitely. Well, Scoozle's gonna be there, and I'm sure he'll buy us everything from the secret shop <laughs> we want. <laughs> Live <laughs> community uh, buyout. Uh, <laughs> man on the scene. <laughs> the man inside. If you can get a picture oh, of no, uh, Bruno, th that's then. a good start for me. Uh, at... Or if you can get Bruno to say pound the werewolf, then. Well, it's, <laughs> well I'll you know it. what? I'll be honest. It's probably easier for me just to go to the studio where they record and ask him. Then, then get a ticket, go to uh, the international, find him there, and get him to say it. Uh, or if, yeah, or wait, for so Scoozle you... to do it. I suppose so. Yeah, but Scoozle's also going to be at the international, and he might see him. I don't know. Just stop, stop ruining my fantasy! No. Hey, bro, is just walking on stage, like, comes up to me, hey, do you have anything funny for me to say? And, and like, you want to record me saying something funny? <laughs> and then and yes. then Bruno goes, No, but I'd love to be on a podcast about choose your own adventure. Oh books. my fucking god! <laughs> hey, yeah, Bruno comes up and is like, Hey, do you know the pod your own adventure guy? <laughs> I love this work. I love I the just... funny accented man who made up a joke about Sonic the Hedgehog being a cleric from Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> that was a good joke. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a bit unfortunate. Uh, actually, no, that's. I'm just still imagining fine. Bruno. Bruno walks up to Scoozle and goes, "Hey, don't I know you from the Friday Night Blood Bowl? Are you? Are you the Scoozle? <laughs> um, you know what? You know what? I feel like sometimes, e even though it it happens with a uh, worrying frequency that people ask me if I'm that Knorr, I don't think we're that well known, to be honest. <laughs> what if Bruno gets really into Blood Bowl and the mom's coming up to the international? Mm. He's like, there's so many statistics to analyze here. <laughs> I think there's too much random chance for him. It, it doesn't make a good eSport. Sorry to analyze. <laughs> um, what's the crawl on the top? Who is this money going to? Me. Really? Yeah, it's my money. How come? Uh, you started up a donate thing and then you used all the money and spent it on your cat, didn't you? Yes. So. Oh, it's cat donations, okay. Yeah. Which is fine, you know? What else? Yeah, what no, else are you going to spend it on anything? 
Yeah. Okay. Food. I, well, I could do that. <laughs> there we go, a fumbled pass. And that's a blow. I'd love to get Bruno on the podcast at some point. That's I'm gonna make. I'm gonna write up my li dream list of people to get, to get on the show. <laughs> Your fantasy podcast. <laughs> yeah. So far, it's um, the guys who made uh, the Stanley Parable and uh, Pendleton Ward. So at the same time, it's a good, mm, good maybe. story. Maybe. Maybe. That's, that's okay. Dream. I feel like uh, this is fucking standing purple guys when we try to give book off rails too much. <laughs> okay, well, uh, like, let's um, hang on. In Space and Beyond, where it kind of went a bit mental and started talking about uh, all, all the alternate realities that you've seen so far drawing on your past experiences, I thought, wait a minute, this kind of reminds me of the Stanley Parable. And then we went back in time to the dinosaurs? I, I, I don't just like in the Stanley Parable. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, while that happened, uh, I stole the ball, so I'm pleased. Oh my that. god, Norm Macdonald would be really good. <laughs> You're right. I'm not right. Uh, Leopard Flesh is right. I'm 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 starting to wonder if I've actually if I actually lost the login for uh, Twi uh, Knorr at Twitch. Because, also right. because I've tried every single email I have three times, <laughs> and none of them <laughs> sends me a password uh, reset, so I don't know what the fuck's going on. Also, Ryan North is the guy who makes dinosaur comic. I, I, know who Ryan, I know who Ryan North is. The joke is I'm actually going to get him on the show soon. I've asked him and talked to him in an email. Fucking pleeb. Wow, <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. So, you, well, I'm just telling you, man, when you get, find a game on the show, so you're not like... So, oh, uh, you're Ryan North! No, so Ryan, uh, what do you do? <laughs> okay, okay, let's get your plug out of the way. I, I, I can't believe, I can't believe Blood Bowl has devolved into this. Every time, Tom just goes just on about his about fantasy. Myself. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, no, Knorr, let's... The spotlight's on you, <laughs> Friday Night Knorrball. Who would be your fantasy Skype call for Friday Night Blood Bowl? Like, I, I honestly don't know. Like I am, I, I I'm 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 bad at. <laughs> I like this bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know bit. Yeah, it's it's. I feel I feel like it's. Uh, I've I've worked really hard on it, so I'm pleased I've made it. Like, uh, I've got this. I've gotten this for it. Well, seeing as Games Workshop was founded by Ian Livingston and Steve Jackson, you know, maybe we could like do a thing where I try and get them on my podcast, and then we can try and get them on Friday Night Blood Bowl. <laughs> that might happen, actually. Like, I'm joking about it, but I may be able to talk to Ian Livingston and Steve Jackson about my stupid podcast. Everyone That's enjoys great. a stupid podcast. Every yeah, once in a while. Love it. Uh, let's see, do I want to follow up here? Uh, no, let's not follow up and see how much movement I've got left because I'm not sure. Oh, oh, I can make it over there. That's okay. Running away with the ball because it's good to do, I guess. Uh, that's my that's my. Um, Love Flesh has a pretty good. John Madden would be a great blood ball scape call guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. He he he's got that one video game right about uh, some other yeah, like ball sport. Nuggen knows him. Okay. Yeah, let's no. Yeah, let's ask Nuggen. Yeah. If we can get John Madden into the Skype call, turns out he's like super into like Dota. <laughs> oh, hey, you guys playing Dota again? I fucking, I fucking love Dota, man. Sorry, sorry, John. We're playing. No, 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 no. Okay, we got a full party. I'll tell you when there's a spot open. But we got a full party. <laughs> now. Oh man, I'd love to play fucking Bloodseeker. <sighs> <laughs> I, I hate it when that when this happens. I mean, like, uh, uh. I don't always go for Bloodseeker. God, John Madden gets into a game and says middle feed, and then it instantly picks Pudge. <laughs> John Madden, like, if he just fucking stopped drawing on the minimap all the time. <laughs> so this, so this is a great. I, I like this. <laughs> you like this bit? Yeah, I like this bit. 
You like with John Madden playing Dota? Well, yeah, I like I like to play Dota, but I feel like it's it's very like everyone can relate to that. No, but I mean, I'm 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 bummed out. I must have someone. I'm like, um, what did it do? I'm sure there's someone. Damn. Well, Some now I'm not gonna come. Now I'm not gonna come up with like any names ever. The guy Is who it? did kind of Lasse Yes. Holm, yeah. Yes. Lasse Holm. Lasse Holm. <laughs> like I think oh, I think I think the problem. I kind of have with coming up with a good guest for like Blood Bowl is that it's really hard to relate to Blood Bowl unless unless you know that said person has played Blood Bowl in the past. Otherwise, I, otherwise I'm gonna have it. to spend like two hours explaining what the fuck's going on. Oh, then this will be like super into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's got tattoos of the names of his D and D characters, and he taught Dame Helen Mirren how to play D and D. Well, to be fair, like once I actually. Um, I wrote the name of one of my D&D &D characters on my arm with a pen. So... I thought you were going to say something about meeting Vin Diesel. Uh, no, no, I have one, one time I did Diesel's name. That's not good. <laughs> that's real unfortunate. Yeah, well, region would be good. Yeah. You, you'd be able to tell him to shut up all the time. Shut up, Messi. <laughs> <laughs> He's never heard that one before. <laughs> You're fucking good. I don't want him to hear a new S thing. Speaking of, fr fr speaking of fresh new bits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. A... Uh, we can we can still get that. We can still get that. I think. Uh, so let's go get that. Wow! Not very lovable, Kenda. Why aren't you saying mean stuff? To Will Wheaton. Meme stuff? Meme? No, that's your area of expertise. <laughs> get get memed right? on Will Wheaton. I'm actually. I can't believe you being this weird. I'm going to Tabletop Day tomorrow. Uh, is it, is that's. Be there? No. That's not good. That's like. No, he's. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we. Uh, is this guard. No, this is not guard guy. Cool. Uh. Actually, uh, yeah, let's activate that guy. Uh, this dude will have to run back because even though he took the ball back, these guys can't uh, run in and score next turn. So now we have some extra cover. Um, I'm going to get Bruno Carlucci on the show and tell him about the time I, I changed my name on Steam to be Rap Game Bruno Carlucci. Crap. What, what, what could Will we have possibly done okay. to uh, that was uh, That was unfortunate because my... Um, uh, my plus strength guy would have gotten since he's got horns too. He's actually blitzing for four, and I have an assist here with sexual heating, so it would have been a two die block. But then I uh, then I didn't roll three plus on the dodge, so it all went downhill. Uh, let's see, can no he no Gilkey can't outrun me, so that's good. Or can he? No, he can't. Uh, if if he blitzes down oh, this blitzer, can he? He might be able to. Oh well, he's gonna he's blitzing with a ball carrier, so that's fine then. Well, fine-ish. Ah, uh, badly hurt. Dang. You need those limbs. Yeah, but it's still. F oh, that's nice. Okay, so he can't go very far. That's good. Um, and he can't hand it off to anyone else, which is also good. And now he's in a position where he uh, he can't protect this vampire. I don't think he can protect him well enough to actually uh, cover. We'll see. He might. He actually he might get this guy over here. Uh, no, I still have, or do I? Well, yeah, kind of. Whoa, Tom. Don't well, look at the entire trash can at once. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I keep feeling that my microphone's a lot. Well, it picks up a lot more Whoa. than it should do, and yeah. my chair's a lot nausea. My chair is a lot nausea. Nausea. Than it needs to be. nausea. Let, let me yeah. tell you about so, Tom's new cool turn microphone. It's really cool. It's new. I'm gonna turn this down. There you go. Let's, uh, turn up. Turn it up. 
turn if I could turn Zero, it down, <laughs> that would be really good. Yes. That's that's all I have from uh, Thomas Mike's yes. song. It's not my song. Somebody should get all these clips of you singing and put them together in a in a collage. Did anybody? Excellence. <laughs> Did anybody um, make a? No, I be when it's music. It's called a medley. Whatever. Yeah. Did anybody uh, make a medley of um, when I did a spoken word version of the intro to Star Trek Enterprise? I don't. Oh, a spoken word intro to Star Trek Enterprise is supposed to be a sung intro. <laughs> well, I wasn't singing. I was just like reading out the words, but at, at the right time, and I was listening to the song as well because I forgot how it went, and then I tried to remember it on the spot. I really want somebody to put that to the backing track. I think I said I'd buy them any game on Steam if they did it. Except not including DLC. And not so, Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z. So, Galactic Civilizations. Then. Well, how much is that? Uh, 100 bucks, I think? Yep, 100 bucks for uh, early access. Okay, this. It's fucked up. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be fun times. Uh, let's do let's do fucked up uh, goblin stuff because we can still blitz with this guy, uh, but he needs an assist. Uh, and luckily, we have two heads on our goblins. No! Oh no! He snake guy on the last roll. Oh no! You need both those eyes. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> no, he doesn't need any of the eyes. Uh, That's the whole point. Tr troll blitz isn't really that good. Uh, especially not against a blodge guy. Um, uh, whereas getting the goblins around uh, would have been nice. It's not like, it's not that big a... Uh, Let's see, it's, well, I need, it's three, uh, it's three two plus, uh, dodges I need to make, and that's it. Um, whereas the troll, if, if I fail the blitz with him, then I don't get to blitz at all, uh, which I didn't think it was worth it. It was better to put him as a roadblock, because he's got guard, so that's why I didn't do that. And I stand by that, because it was the better play. Uh, the reason you don't put the, uh, the reason you don't put the guard... Troll, uh, troll here is because I'm blitzing with this guy and his only access is through here plus he doesn't have two heads so he's doing three plus dodges and if you remember last turn he failed that so that's why you, that's why I didn't put him here because I didn't like need him unfortunately now I'm gonna have to do bullshit dodges instead but we'll see how it goes there's only vampires here, so he might bloodlust. <laughs> Imagine who a better show in next generation would be if his name was actually Star Trek Picard. <laughs> <laughs> Star Trek Picard just wants a, cry a quiet life. <laughs> That would be a good show. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> it would name drop the name of the show like constantly. Okay, that's the dump off guy, so... <laughs> <laughs> like, Riker comes in and he's like, Star Trek Picard. And Star Trek Picard looks at the camera and says, that's the name of the show. <laughs> <laughs> he walks onto the deck and says, and everybody says, Captain on the deck is yes, it's me, Star Trek Star Picard. Trek Picard. <laughs> Here on the Star Trek Enterprise. Mm, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> See, is it worth it to knock this guy down? No, it's. What if everyone's first name was Star Trek on the Star Trek Enterprise? <laughs> they have to have their name changed by Deepol before they're allowed to go on. Man, that'd be good. Oh, I fucked that up. I should have moved that this guy that, down that here. That would mean that instead. Wesley's name would be Star Trek Crusher. <laughs> Star Tre you know what? Accurate. <laughs> so it might actually be... Uh, uh, Just imagine what the conversation would be. It might be would, worth it to try and just, block this guy down. They'd have to say their full name as well, like... <laughs> so, Star no, Trek Data, how are no, you doing? Well. I'm doing quite... I'm doing fine, Star no, Trek Riker. No, Data would, Data would just be Star Trek. <laughs> Oh uh, man! <laughs> be like 
Star Trek LaForge. <laughs> Star Trek LaForge actually like has a nice cadence to it. It does, yeah. I think the show uh, really picked up in the second series when Star Trek Riker grew a beard. <laughs> hmm. Fuck me. Undead Hippo just said, make it Star Trek so. <laughs> Sim Sim Sola Star Trek Vim. <laughs> Are you too high? He's no, no. Why would, he's, you don't get high on wine. No, I'm you asking if they're high because they, they're laughing at something that's not funny. How can <laughs> Oh, the, the cl clear telltale signs of intoxication on the weed drug is laughing at jokes that you find funny. It, they aren't funny. We're yeah. like, like we're treating this as a joke, but honestly, weed drug is a serious thing. Don't inject. <laughs> don't don't weed drug, kids. Hi, I'm Captain Statchik because. Joe <laughs> <laughs> nice. really isn't Enterprise. No, we, we like we have fun exploring the where no one has gone before. <laughs> you know, isn't very Enterprise. It's the weed drugs <laughs> of marijuana for 20 stun or whatever <laughs> the planet name would the be. The 420th quadrant. Well, that quadrant. was that was a good turn of, of not once. Uh, <laughs> I enjoy that quite a lot. Uh, it's in two tackle zones, and there are there's one vampire that's in scoring position. It's this one. Uh, this one can just jump up, pick it up, dodge out, and pass. Which might be what Gilka goes for. Uh, let's see what else is there he could do. Cry. He, he could. Cry. He could. He could probably Shane push it somehow. No, that would imagine, just end this vampire up here. I think. Imagine. Star Trek Picard tells the Star Trek Enterprise to move towards Quadrant 420. Imagine. Star Trek, Star Trek Riker looks at him and is like, "Set phasers to wipe, Captain." <laughs> Ima imagine Star Trek Picard having a tumbler where he imagines situation where Benedict Cumberbatch does things. Well, no, because he's not Benedict Cumberbatch, he's Star Trek Khan. Oh, you're right, he's, he is. <laughs> in, the sec in the second movie, Star Trek Kirk falls to his knees and goes, Star Trek Khan! <laughs> yeah, but that's Star Trek Very Kirk, nice. that's not Star Trek Picard. But well, that's a different captain. I'm sure they've met at some point. Yeah, they met in Generations. Um, Everyone knows that. Oh, yeah. Star Trek, Star Trek Generations. Ah, <laughs> uh, and... Well, that was a good game. GG. Uh, can I murder anyone? Not really. really? Who... Is, is there this anyone... It's really good product placement for Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> We've said the name, like, 50 times. Got people thinking about it. Yeah. I well, I mean, yeah. top, top of mind brand recognition is really important, you guys. Yeah, yeah. This is doing wonders for Star Trek's SEO. Oh, just fucking had a genius idea we wrote down in the chat. Star Trek with next generation plus evil bong. <laughs> Very. Did Patrick Klepek make that? <laughs> Patrick Klepek is credited uh, on the credits for evil bong 2, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty crazy. sure that was an inaccurate pass, so. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, he... Oh, actually, no. He used free roll, so that was es Espipus. I don't know about and you guys, but I really, like, I really like all the episodes of the Star Trek Q in. Isn't he just like S? I, <laughs> I couldn't have scored again. I didn't have anyone in scoring position. I guess I, I might have... I don't even think I actually did. I have a goblin. Uh, I might have. I didn't think. I I, I never think to throw with uh, this team because my dudes are too precious. <gasps> DOA, the D that's for desk. Nice. Just leveled up. Here's an update. Was... Sorry, here's an update. Gokey's evil twin has managed to make it to halftime. Nice. Yay! Yay! Hooray! Let's let's see what. Uh, let's see what Click Click Brew managed to grab. Yeah. Uh, well, fuck, I'm uh, thinking Star Trek Picard would be a really good Steam name. It might be something <laughs> I change to what? when I play Red Orchestra oh. 2 because they've been banned from two servers from being called Jacked Up Fuckhead. 
Wow. Didn't you also say that when you're playing Red Orchestra 2, all the neo Nazi names were able to go through fine, but Jacked Up Fuckhead was apparently too far? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there was like, like I once started getting warnings for an inappropriate name. Well, one of my squad mates was called something like fucking Wehrmacht 88. <laughs> God. I've got a funny story which I'll mention after this thing's done. So that's a stream exclusive, guys. Wow. <laughs> Okay, uh, poor D O A to D stands for desk. I managed to get two heads and big hand, uh, which is kind of unlikely, but there you go. Uh, still hasn't rolled uh, a double, so he can't get wrestle. So I think we're either gonna give him. Oh, we're gonna give him sidestep. But that's no fun, though. Do we have any annoying mutations we can give him? Pretzel tail. Uh, we could give him disturbing presence. Uh, if he's just like around. Um, which might be good in a way. Uh, extra arm. I like. I don't want him to hold on to the ball. Um. Uh, but isn't he going to be grabbing the ball? With the yeah, he is going to be. That's right. He is going to be grabbing the ball with big hand. So he always picks it up on a two plus. Okay. You can get like sure hands, can you? Well? No, I can't. It's a general skill general. for passing. Yeah. Let's give him extra arm. So he, he's always going to pick it up. He's very specific at what he does. He runs in and picks the ball up. That's what he does. <laughs> uh, uh, everybody's going to have a roll. Yeah. Skaven know? Blitzer here, rolled plus agility. I don't think I'm actually going to use that on him because it doesn't help him any because he's got Mighty Blow Claw. So he should get, um, I think we're, we might give him horns. <laughs> it's a stupid looking arm. Actually, <laughs> uh, we might give him horns. Uh, for more, yeah, this is our main blitzer. Let's give him horns. I'm not giving him piling on because he doesn't have... Well, I don't want him lying down, basically. Uh, okay, let's see. We have... Why would he not take agility? Because he he doesn't have any agility skills. It's too late to give him agility. I can't... Well, I he, can't... Can touch, he can touch away and run real far. Yeah, but... It's no, I, I, it's it's not worth it on him. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like... I mean, it's always good. But he is supposed to be our, like, our blitzer. Uh, and I totally forgot to do a thing. Well, actually, never mind. Uh, okay. So, 